Hello everyone, so welcome back. I hope you are all doing well. Now in this particular video, we'll uh, do some examples related to finite, finite difference operators. So which are uh, forward difference operator, shifting operator and backward difference operator. So I have already explained in lecture one, what are the different types of operators and uh, their formulas. Also what is interpolation and extrapolation. So if you have already gone through that particular video, then you'll easily understand the problems in this particular video. Otherwise, kindly go through lecture one so that you have a better understanding of lecture two. Okay, so let's get started. Now see in problem number one, uh, we have taken the operator delta. So what to prove? Delta e to the power x is equals to what? e to the power x into e to the power h minus one. h is the interval of difference. So we have already known that what is the interval of difference? Suppose x naught, then x naught plus h, x naught plus twice h, and then x naught plus nh. So these are what different arguments. Okay. Now see from x naught to x naught plus h, then x naught plus h to x naught plus twice h. So in each step, the increment is what h. Okay. So this particular h is called what interval of difference. And then what is delta f of x? What is the formula for delta f of x? This is f of x plus h minus what? f of x. So this formula we are going to use here. Now see, in this particular problem, the function is how much? What is f of x? It is e to the power x. Then what will be our f of x plus h? This step is important, okay? So see, if it is x, then power is also x. Now what we are writing in place of x? Now in place of x, we are writing x plus h. So it will be e to the power, now x will change to x plus h. So it is only this much, okay? Wherever you see h, sorry, x, so that you have to replace by x plus h. Now the left hand side, delta e to the power x, okay? So what is the formula for delta e to the power x, you see? First one is f of x plus h. So it's f of x plus h minus f of x. So f of x plus h is our e to the power x plus h. Then f of x is what? e to the power x. So if we split it, then we can write e to the power x into e to the power h minus 1. So from this to term, if we take e to the power x common, so this one is e to the power x. So if we take e to the power x common, then e to the power h minus 1. So see, problems are very simple, right? So we got the answer. Now <coughs> let us take one more problem. Okay. So this problem is also based on what? Uh, delta. So here also you see we have what to prove? We have to prove that uh, delta sine of a plus h is equals to how much? Delta sine of a plus h is. Uh, No, sorry, sine of ax plus b is equal to what? 2 sine ah by 2 into sine ax plus b plus ah by 2 plus pi by 2. Okay, so if it's not visible, then this term is like this sine of ax plus b plus ah by 2 plus pi by 2. Okay, so this is we have to prove. So let us start again. So here in this problem, what is f of x? So here f of x is our sine ax plus b. Okay, sine ax plus b. Now let us find x plus h. So what is x plus h? What I told in the last problem. So a into just we have to replace this x by what? x plus h. Okay, plus b. So this is very simple. Okay, f of x is whatever is given. This is our f of x. Okay. And then when we find f of x plus h, f of x plus h will be sine, then a, just replace x by what? x plus h. The other, other parts is very simple. Delta, our left hand side is what? Delta sine ax plus b. Okay, delta sine ax plus b. So this will be our f of x plus h minus what? f of x. So sine a into x plus h 
plus b then minus f of x, f of x is how much? sin ax plus b, okay, sin ax plus b. Now, this is of the form, what? A sin a minus sin b. So, you know this particular formula, right? Sin a minus what? Sin b. So, sin a minus sin b, what is the formula? 2 cos a plus b by 2, and then sin what? a minus b by 2. So this particular formula we'll use here sine a minus sine b. So this is equals to so 2 cos a. So our a is this one, this part is a, okay, and this second part is what b. So 2 sine a a into x plus h plus b plus ax plus b, whole thing divided by what 2, then sine. Now it is a minus b, a into x plus h plus b minus ax plus b divided by 2, okay? So in the second term, few terms will be cancelled out, okay? This, if we split it, 2 cos, so in the first term, we have 2 ax, so it is 2 ax plus ah plus twice b divided by 2, and here we have sine ax plus ah plus b minus ax minus b. So ax x cancel out, b b cancel out. So I think uh, next line true. Okay, so this term is sine ah by 2. But see the first term now, if you see the answer, both the terms are in terms of sine. Okay. This is also sine, this is also sine. But here, in our case, the first term is what? Cos. So we have to make it, or we, can, we have to change this cos in terms of what? Sine. So you know the formula, what is cos theta? Cos theta is sine 90 plus theta. Okay. We can write minus also, but here in this particular problem, plus is given. So cos theta is equal to a sine 90 plus theta. So what you can write? Sine. 90 plus theta. So our theta is 2ax plus ah plus 2b divided by how much? 2. Okay. So let us add one more line 2 sine pi by 2 plus. Okay. Now if you divide it 2ax by 2, 2ax by 2, 2 to cancel it is ax. The next one is your ah by 2. The last term is equal to 2b divided by 2. So 2, 2 cancel. We have what? B. And with this, we have sine A is by 2. So this is our answer. Okay. So just only one formula we need to apply, which is delta f of x. So delta f of x is what? f of x plus h minus f of x. After that, the problems are very simple. Okay. Now in this particular problem, we have a combination of both delta and e. That means forward difference operator and Shifting operator. So let us take the right hand side here. It's delta square by e e to the power x. So this is one function, and then e to the power x by delta square e to the power. X. This is another function. So what we'll do? See the first term, delta square divided by e. That particular one divided by e. This one we can write e to the power minus 1, e to the power x. So let us, uh, let us give the second function as, as it is, e e to the power x, then delta square e to the power x. In the first function, there are two operators, delta square and e to the power minus 1. So let us do 1 by 1, delta square, and then we can write e to the power minus 1, e to the power x. Okay. So since there are two operators, so we have to do one by one. So again, we are keeping the second term as it is. Okay. <clears throat> now what is the formula for E f of x? I think you remember in lecture one, we have E f of x. E f of x is what? f of x plus h. And then what will be for e to the power minus one f of x? So it will be f of, now it is x minus h, right? minus h. So here delta square 
So e to the power minus 1, e to the power x. So this will be our e to the power how much? x minus h. Again, the second term will remain same. Delta square e to the power x. So here you see e to the power e to the power x minus h. So this we can write e to the power x into e to the power minus h. So e to the power minus h is constant. I'm talking about this particular term e to the power x minus h. So e to the power x minus h can be written like this. Okay, e to the power x into e to the power minus h. So e to the power minus h we can take outside. So we'll be left out with delta square and what e to the power x. Okay. Delta square e to the power x. Now, what is the second term? Second term is e e to the power x by delta square e to the power x. Now, see these two will cancel out. Okay, so what we have now? One constant e to the power minus h and then e e to the power x. Okay, so e means again shifting operator. So e e to the power x. What you can write? e to the power x plus h. Okay, so e to the power minus h, e to the power x, and e to the power h. So these two will cancel out. So our answer is how much? e to the power x. So this is very simple, right? So you'll better, you'll, be, you'll understand it better if you do with me. So we just do the first problem, then you pause the video. Whenever the problem is clear, then you come to the second problem. So like this, if you practice, then all the solutions will be very, very easy to all of you. Now see, here again in this particular problem, we have both delta and E. So let us take the left-hand side, delta square by E, and then X cube. So delta. So we have a relation between delta and E, right? So I think you still remember, we did this problem uh, relation between delta and e so it's f of x plus h minus how much f of x right so in place of f of x plus h we wrote e f of x minus f of x then we have taken f of x common right so from this we get this relation delta equals to how much e minus one so in place of delta we can write e minus one whole square divided by e x cube so this is together, okay, delta square by u, we cannot split it in a different way. Or we can do this particular problem like this, delta square e to the power minus one x, but uh, there we'll get two or three step more. So this part is very easy. Now, e minus one whole square, you can write e square minus twice e plus one divided by e x cube, okay? Now if we, separate them first is e square by e e square by e is e second is what twice e by e so e, e cancel we have only two and third one is one by e one by e is how much e to the power minus one x cube so let us separate them one term will be e x cube then minus two x cube and third one is e to the power minus one x cube so e means just uh, e is what e f of x is what simply you have to add one h right x plus h so here e x cube so it will be x plus h whole cube minus 2 x cube and then it, since it is e to the power minus 1 so we have to subtract one h now if we expand the cube is x cube c x square h plus 3x h square plus h cube then minus 2x cube third one is a minus b whole cube so it's a cube minus 3x square h plus 3x h square and then what minus h so if you calculate how much you'll get x cube x cube 2x cube is cancel out so most of the term will be cancel out so you have 6x h square so this is our answer okay so now let us take a problem uh, related to backward difference operator. Okay, so I have taken nebula square x nebula square x square. So what is nebula f of x? Nebula f of x is our f of x minus f of x minus h. 
So in this problem, in this particular problem, f of x is how much? x square. So what will be our f of x minus h? This will be our x minus h whole square. Okay, now let us take the left hand side. Nebula square x square. So this nebula square we will write like this nebula into nebula x square. Okay, we can do directly also, but uh, this will be simple if we separate it. Nebula and then nebula x square. Okay, so what is nebula x square? First we have to write x square and then x minus h means x minus h whole square. Okay, so it's nebula x square. I to expand the square. It's x square minus minus plus 2xh then minus h square. Okay, so x square x square cancel out. How much will get? One will be our nebula square two x h minus h square. Okay. So see the first term two and h is constant. So two h you can keep outside. We have nebula x, and then second term is nebula h square. So if f of x is constant, okay. If f of x is constant, then what is f of x minus h? This is also same constant. So then what is nebula f of x? Nebula f of x is f of x minus f of x minus h. So here f of x is k, f of x minus h is also k. So it will become how much? Zero. So if we find, if we operate some constant function with nebula, then result is how much? Result is zero. So here also see our h square is constant. So this part, second part will vanish. So 2h. What is nebula x? First it is x and then it is what? x minus h. Okay. And the second part is 0. So in the first part, x x cancel, you have twice h into h equals to how much? 2 h. Now you see whatever problem we did here. So all the problems are very simple. Just you have to remember what is delta f of x, what is e f of x, and what is nebula f of x. Okay. So I hope. Uh, the examples are clear to all of you and if you get benefit from this particular lecture then kindly share with your friends thank you very much